I'm going to continue with um, part two of my Cyberlink 9 tutorial. And um, right now, I'm just going to show you guys how to use simple text effects and how to use PIP objects. Um, first of all, I'm just going to use these two Black Ops gameplays that um, I recorded earlier today as an example. Now, you want to go down to the storyboard, whatever you call it. Um, different programs call it different things. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, click Add Tracks. You want to right-click there, click Add Tracks. Um, now, I think I'm going to need about, like, two. So, I, you're going to add two video tracks. And... Um, you want to take one of your clips, don't put it in the first one, but put it in the second one, and same thing with this one, you want to put it down here in the third one, and, um, I'm just going to make this so it takes, um, the same length as, the, um, the other video and um what you want to do is you're going to want to mute the audio at least that's what i like to do i like to mute the audio and put my own audio in the background possibly a song or something like that um i'd use like techno or jazz or something like that that just won't get flagged for copyright on youtube um you're gonna double click on the video and this will come up and what you want to do is you're going to want to grab the edge of the video and you're going to want to shrink it. Now there's the other one behind it. So right now I'm just going to leave that right there. Now double click on the other clip. And you shrink that one as well. And this is called um, PIP, which stands for Picture in Picture. And you can have multiple videos running at once. Um, you have the advantage if you have the 64-bit operating system, because the 64-bit operating system lets you do double the amount of um, HD videos on one screen. Now, um, this one will basically just let you, um, I mean, you can still do a lot, but right now I'm just going to show you guys two. Um, what you could do is do um, grid lines, two by two. I like to usually just do two, um per uh, per video and I, when I when I do use these which I rarely do I haven't used them in a while um, what I do do is um, I use these at the end of my videos so people can you know click on it in the annotations and it will um, redirect them to that video now I'm going to show you guys how to put text on um, the sides of the video uh, I'll do that real soon shrink it to where you want it um, I'm going to want to do the same for the next one. Fortunately, you can't do both of them at the, um, at the same time. If you do um, grid lines, um, you'll notice that it um, if you drag it, it will actually snap in the place. Um, I wouldn't. I don't like to put maintain aspect ratio. I like to um, do it myself. You know, once you got it in place, you just there you go. Uh, all right, now it's in place. Now, um, I, what I always like to do is I like to um, add a background in the back. So um, what you do is you click um, right here on this little arrow. Click on Backgrounds. It has a few. Uh, I usually use my own. But um, just for now, I'm just going to use um, one, of the, one of the default ones that um, come with the program put it in the back as you can see it's in the background and um, you can preview that right now you see um, right now it's in bad quality just because it's in um, it's in the video player um, once it's rendered it will look great it will look fantastic actually after at the end of this video I will show you guys um, how this works and I will um, give you a preview of it just so you can see it in full quality um, Alright, now I'm going to show you guys how to do the text effects. I mean, the text effects. <laughs> you add it to the timeline. Pretty simple. Now you double click on that. And um, you'll want to move it around. So, um... 
I would just leave that there. You can, um, of course, customize it to one of the default ones. And you can change all the settings and make it look, you know, more original. More to your um, needs, custom. All right. Um, you're going to want to do a second one. So you're going to insert title. You can also insert images, but um, I'm showing you guys how to do text. And um, I'll just, you know, give you guys um, an example there. That's there. Um, now, I want to show you guys how to um, basically do the um, animated effects. There's, um, they have a decent amount of effects. I'll just click a random one. And it actually previews it there, as you can see. Um, pick another random one for this one. Yep, and... Um, what you would like I would like to do is um I like to take this a little bit further just so it actually when you when you play the video it does the flip or whatever effect you have right there it will do it faster you want to do that for both of these um I, I think it usually takes too slow and sometimes it'll be doing it about half the video and that's kind of annoying now um you also have ending effects which you can um, do that as well. I'm not going to show you guys that right now. Um, and there you go. You got a video that you can click on with annotations that is moving. And um, you have text to go along with it. So you could say what it is. Um, that's about it. Don't forget to go to legendaryreviews.com. I will have another tutorial showing you guys how to stretch videos that are too small for the YouTube player.